Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss another SQL problem. We will see how we can utilize group by and having together. You know, in my daily work life also many times this uh, group by and having together has done a wonders. And if you use effectively, you can solve many complex problem easily. Okay, so see, today we will see one example of that. So here's the question, simple question. So you have a exam table. Okay, so we have to find the students who have same marks in physics and chemistry. So student ID one, if you see, they have, he has same marks in chemistry physics. Student ID two, this guy has different marks, eighty and ninety. So this is not should not be in the output. Again, if you see student ID three, this has a subject only chemistry. There is no physics, so this is out anyway. Again, this guy has different marks, right? So if you see there are two things we have to make sure that the student should have appeared for both the exams chemistry and physics both this is first condition we have to check second condition is the marks in both of them should be same this is these these are the two things and that's it we will do it so there are many ways of doing it you can do a join self join one one table you can take with chemistry another with physics and join and see marks are correct or not but we are going to do it simple group by and having and you will see how powerful they are together okay so i need a student id in the output right and what i am going to do i am going to do group by on student id okay before we do that i am going to add a where clause also where subject in so there might be other subjects also in this table so for safer side i will just filter on chemistry and physics both so i will get everything right so i filtered on physics and chemistry second thing is i want to make sure that this guy has given exam in both chemistry and physics so i will do group by student id having count of distinct subject should be two right so if i do count of distinct subject it should be two see i i can just do count of subject also that should also work so if i do count of subject i have filtered on chemistry and physics if the person has appeared for both the count of subject or distinct subject should be should be two right so in that way i filtered one two and four Three will not be there now. So if I run this, three is not there, right? Now I have to do second condition. Let's look at the table again. Now we have to put second condition that the marks in both the subjects should be same. So how do I do that? These marks are in different row, right? But what can I do? See. I am grouping on student ID. I am also checking count of distinct subjects. I can check distinct marks also, right? Count of distinct marks. So if the marks are same, the distinct marks will be one, right? For any student, if the marks are same, and if I do distinct, it will be one, right? I hope this is clear. So if I done this, only this one will remain because count of Distinct marks for this guy will be two because eighty and ninety for this guy will be seventy one fifty four but for this guy it is only one because they have the same marks and that's what we need so if I run this I will get the output so ninety one okay so what I am going to do I will do this that in description box I will put the insert a statement and create a statement you try yourself if you have a better solution easier solution let me know I would love to see it. Do like this video, share with your friends, and show them the power of group buy and having. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.